Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? I hope you are all very fine at your home. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands regularly. Thoroughly. Be clean. I hope we'll meet very soon in the classroom. Physically, where well, God is. Now, today, we will know about the important uh, topic in view of your uh, coming 10th class examination. If we are going to discuss the topic, just we will go to the biology question paper. Biological science question paper. questions. Each one carries a half mark. Total book we have a six marks. First section we have a 12 questions. Each one carries a half mark. Total we have a six mark. In this first section some questions were may have a objective type. Some questions are a and fill in the blank and some questions are you know, one word you have to write. Just they will give one question in objective manner in two questions uh, in fill in the blanks. Uh, some are objective type, some are one word ask. This is about your uh, first section. And now coming to the second section, you will have a uh, eight questions. Each one carries one mark. The total you have a uh, eight marks. This is one word answer or uh, two word answers you have to write. And now coming to the third section, you have uh, again uh, eight questions. Each one, each one carries a uh, two marks, and total you have a. Uh, 16 marks in this section. And now coming to the last section. This is a very important section. Essay questions we have to write here. This section have a five questions. Each one carries a four marks. Total you have a 20 marks. Total 50 marks. In your biological sciences a question paper, you have a 50 marks. With the time, 2.45 minutes. question paper and uh, the rest of the 10 minutes, two and a half hours for writing your answer script. So prepare well, already you know how to write an answer script, you have to draw the lines on four sides, not only that, after completing the one question you have to draw a like, uh, line the answers you have to write. You have to draw the line after completing the one answer. And one more thing, you have to write the answers. If you know very well first section, sorry, fourth section, then what you have to do first put a Roman number four 
and write all five questions. But in sometimes you know from a number one short answers you know very well. Say good starting is very important. The valuer get an impression at first phase. So give very importance to the study. So first you write uh, whatever you know perfectly. So if you start a Roman number one, you have to write all questions. One, two, three, like that. First put whatever you know, just you write that. Okay? But write perfectly. Remember that good starting is very important. So this is about our biology question paper. We have our questions and our marks, total marks about our question paper. Now If we observe the preparatory one question paper, in that question paper, from this uh, third chapter, transportation, they have given a question, question number 10. Blood is red in color due to the presence of dash. Blood is red in color due to the presence of dash. For this, the answer is human blood is red color because of a protein hemoglobin which contains a red color compound called hema. That's a circulate for a carrying oxygen through your blood streams. Hema contains an iron atom which behind to oxygen. Now in this preparatory one paper, the next question from this chapter is of question number 15. Ravi got a wounded but the bleeding is not controlled even after a 10 minutes is a name of, what is the name of the? For this question answer is a hemophilia, the genetic disorder called a hemophilia. Hemophilia is a rare disease. In this preparatory one, if we observe 30 num question number 31, what is coagulation of blood? Explain the process of a coagulation in brief. This is a question with an internal choice. Another important part in the story of a blood is coagulation. On this, uh, only because of this character, animals survive when they meet uh, several injuries. When there is an injury, blood clots in 3 to 6 minutes. When the blood flows out, the platelets release an enzyme called a thrombokinase. The thrombokinase acts another substance present in the blood called a prothrombin converting into thrombin. Thrombin acts another substance called a fibrogen. This is present a dissolved state converting into insoluble fibrin. So, we have to write this. The yellow is a straw color of fluid protein after formation of the clot serum. Prothrombokinase converts into thrombin when thrombokinase acts on prothrombin.
we have to write this answer for this uh, question now coming to the second preparatory paper if i observe the question number 4 name the largest artery in the human body for this the answer is aorta what is that aorta the largest artery in this preparatory to question number 15 how do heart is protect from shocks and jerks how do heart protects from shocks and jerks for this question for this question we have to write the answer for this question answer is heart is located between two lungs protected by the rib cage the human heart is covered by two layers these membranes are called a pericardial membranes in between the pericardial membranes the pericardial fluid is flowing the pericardial fluid is flowing this protects the heart from shocks and jerks and injuries now next question from this preparatory to uh, 30th question number 30th what is the coagulation of blood explain the process of a coagulation in brief with the antenal choice of this question we have to write the answer uh, which we explained in a preparatory one see here question is uh, repeated so now coming to the third chapter transportation the circulation Because it is a single cell, 
it is coming to the multicellular organisms it have a trillions of cells all these and uh, big cells mm, so all these uh, nutrients uh, uh, water and mineral to be transported uh, to the whole organism so it takes a long time if uh, they depends upon the diffusion or osmosis for this multicellular organisms need a separate circulation what is that separate circulation for this separate circulation to circulate uh, this uh, minerals water and nutrients uh, the multicellular organisms uh, have a separate organ organ system if we are going to discuss about the circulation just we will go through the structure some another points we know we have to know that if we go to the doctor whenever we are getting a fever or in health first doctor observes our left hand with his two fingers middle finger and point finger he kept uh, on the wrist like this he kept on the uh, wrist like this and he is uh, watching the observing the watch his watch to count the pulse we can also observe our pulse by see here like this touching with our uh, right hand uh, with the uh, middle finger and uh, point finger on the wrist of a uh, left hand below the thumb if we observe some rhythmic movement is going on we can also count that within the one minute how many rhythms are coming so doctor sees that not only that he observes uh, with the stethoscope on our heart how many heart beats are coming so generally it, we also can count so generally one thing we have to know that the pulse rate is a uh, very pulse rate may vary from person to person and situation to situations and in sometimes when we are looking at a snake or from jerks or from ants our pulse rate may increases so according to the situation to situation pulse rate may change according to the person to person also pulse rate changes as coming to the new born 3 to 0 to 3 months the pulse rate is 100 to 150 0 to 3 months what is that 100 to 150 and coming to the infants means 3 to 6 months 90 to 120 3 to 6 months 90 to 100 okay na now coming to the infantis of 6 months to 12 months 6 months to 12 months 6 to 12 months here is the Infancies of six months to twelve months, eighty to one twenty. What is that? Eighty to one twenty. Now coming to the children of a one to ten years. One to ten years. One to ten years. Come of our children, seventy to one twenty.
and now coming to the children our attend years and the adults including senior citizens the pulse rate is 6200 means 6200 above stethoscope before uh, inventing the stethoscope by the renin lenac doctors used to observe the heartbeat they kept their ear near to the heart of the patient in 19 in 1816 renin lenac discovered a stethoscope first he used a paper roll paper roll to observe the heart beat of a patient he observed with the paper roll and second time he observed with the bamboo stick instead of a paper roll he put a bamboo stick one side uh, near to his ear and uh, one side uh, near to the heart of the patient with this uh, he counted the heart beat of the patient he only discovered the stethoscope in 1816 Renin Lenac discovered the stethoscope. Heart. Why? Because the heart only have to circulate blood from the blood. See here. This is the heart. The heart is. Here, wider shape. This is the anterior side. This is the posterior side. This is the anterior side. This is the posterior side. If you observe the anterior side, it is a wider. If you observe the posterior side, it is a narrow. And uh, the heart is a pear shaped structure the heart is pear shaped structure it have a outline like a triangle see that triangle again i am repeating the heart is a pear shaped structure and a triangle is outline wider at the anterior side narrow at posterior side now we we'll know about a internal structure of a heart let us see the internal structure of heart coming to the heart internal structure heart have a four chambers right auricular atria left atrium and right ventricle left ventricle the 
the right side heart parts the right right atrium right ventricle are little bit bigger than of a left parts left auricular and left ventricle and now in this heart we can see that see superior vena cava this is superior vena cava inferior vena cava means this both collect the blood from the body parts to right atrium again i am repeating this superior vena cava see this this superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava collect the blood from the body parts to heart and see this here left atrium right sorry left ventricle already we told from this see here after this this one aorta this is a long big artery veins are two types we'll discuss later about that arteries and veins here the big artery is aorta aorta sends or aorta pumps sends blood from the left ventricle to all body parts and to the lungs now coming to the valves here you can see the tricuspid valve this valve opens in between the right atrium to right ventricle right atrium to right ventricle to flow the blood from right ventricle right atrium to right ventricle it opens that's why it call tricuspid valve tricuspid valve here we can see another see here this is present in left ventricle by cuspid valve it opens between left atrium to left ventricle it opens in between the left atrium and left ventricle this is about the heart internal structure children now we will know about the the blood vessels and circulation up to the 16th century no one don't know how blood is flowing in our body in 1574 italian doctor gilvermo fabrici studied about the veins he observed in leg the veins are carrying the blood and he observed that it carries the blood in one way not in a opposite direction not to the gravitational force the wall the veins having the valves to stop flowing opposite direction this was studied by the kirol lemon Fabrice. After this, William Harvey, the scientist William Harvey, want to study um, 
he came to Italy for his uh, further studies and he studied under the Fabrizio. William Harvey want to know how blood is uh, flowing in, in the body. Not only the veins, some part are, parts are there. He have uh, so many doubts. William Harvey have uh, so many doubts. That's why what he did, he tied the legs of the animals and observed that. What he observed, he tied, he tied the legs, legs of a animal. He observed that upon the tie towards the heart direction it bulging. He observed that. So left ventricle pumping the blood to the iota and iota supplies the blood to the leg. Here he observed the swallowing bulking. Then he knows that not only the veins, some other parts carries the blood from the heart. Then he knows that those are arteries. Arteries carries the blood from the heart to the all body parts and to the lungs. So he observed that and he have uh, so many, he had uh, so many doubts and uh, he observing and uh, he is investigating. But he couldn't observe that with uh, his uh, naked eye. Some are present, uh, not only the veins and arteries, but some are there in between the arteries and the arteries and veins. But he couldn't uh, see with his naked eye. After William Harvey, Marcelo Malfizzi. After William Harvey, Marcelo Malfizzi in uh, 1661, he observed in bats in between the in between the arteries and veins some structures are present. Some structures are present. He observed under the ultron microscope. And named that blood capillaries. He named that capillaries. Capillaries is nothing but a Latin word means a hair-like structure. See, these blood capillaries join the veins and arteries. These three were did a lot of work about the arteries, veins, and a blood capillaries. But William Harvey did a lot of experiments. He got uh, so many doubts about uh, this. He, he did so many experiments. So that This is a 
about the blood cells and circulation. Cycle. Now we imagine that four chambers of the heart relax. Four. Four chambers of a heart in relaxed stage. The astral cell. First, what happened when the blood releases from the both the ventricles to the superior van cava, inferior van cava, and uh, uh, to the pulmonary veins from both. releasing the blood and to the iota from this left ventricle to iota releasing after releasing the blood to the iota and this the walls which are present in between the auricles and ventricles was forcefully closed then we had we heard a strong sound called love this is systole what is called systole When the blood enters into the ven cava and uh, iota, automatically the walls forcibly closed to stop the blood coming from the arcus to ventricle. This is called a, then we heard sound, strong sound called a love this is called systole and now coming to the second stage after releasing the blood the ventricles are squeezing or contrast the blood trying to move towards the ventricle direction the two valves forcefully closed then we heard a very weak or a slow sound called dub this is called a diastole which is called a diastole this is cyclically processed First, relax, four chambers are relaxing stage. Then, ventricles to blood flowing to the ven cava and to the iota. Iota. These walls forcibly closed. Then we heard a strong sound called a love. This is called a systole. And second one is after uh, pumping the blood to the 
Vancouver and uh, Iota, the ventricles are relaxing. In this relaxed stage, the blood that tries to flow back to the ventricles from the arcus, but the walls which are present uh, between the articles, uh, articles to the ventricles, these walls are stopped. Then we heard a small sound called lap. This is systole. With this, cardiac cycle is complete. It routines, it, it process in a cycling way. That's why it is called a cardiac cycle. In this cardiac cycle, atrial contraction and a ventricle contraction. Atrial contraction, atrial contraction takes place 0 0.11 seconds. 0. 11 seconds to 14 seconds and a ventricle contraction 0 0.27 second to 0 0.35 seconds. Ventricle contraction 0 0.37 seconds. This is about the cardiac cycle. Blood pressure means generally we heard that BP, BP, BP. What is BP? Blood pressure. Blood pressure is always a measure upper arm in this upper arm of an artery and Doctors measure the blood pressure with the device called a spigno manometer. Again, I am repeating that. We heard so many times so BP, BP, BP. What is BP? BP is nothing but a blood pressure. Blood pressure is measured in the upper arm of the artery here. Doctors measure this uh, when we go to doctor. A doctor measure with a device called a spigno manometer. It shows uh, two readings. One is when blood uh, flows from the lower chambers of the heart. That means ventricles. Again, I am repeating that in BP blood pressure, two readings are there. This upper reading, I have done that, 120 mm of mercury. Here, this reading will take when heart is very slow. These are two chambers. These are two chambers. Here. These are ventricles. When ventricles releases the blood, ventricle releases the blood, this reading will be taken. This is called a systolic pressure. Systolic pressure. This is called as systolic pressure. And second measure is taken when the blood flows into the ventricles from the atrium or auricles. From the auricles. This is 80 mm of mercury. Some people we heard that 
high BP, high BP. High BP is nothing but hypertension. Means this readings may increases in some people. Okay. And one more thing. In a person, situation to situation also, these readings may change. In rest period, like this, 120 by 80. In doing exercises, or in running condition, or in um, climbing the steps, readings may change. This is about the blood pressure. Again, I am repeating that BP means blood pressure. This BP measure the above arm of the artery. BP measure with the help of a device, sphygmomanometer. This sphygmomanometer shows a two readings. Upper reading is taken when the blood flows out from the ventricles. One to lungs, one to body parts. When ventricles releasing the blood. This is a working time of a ventricles. This is called a systolic pressure. And second reading while blood is resting time of a ventricles blood is flowing into ventricles this is called diastolic pressure diastolic pressure this may be 80 mm of mercury generally in common people BP shows uh, this readings 120 by 80 120 by 80 is a normal reading if it raises the person may have some problems if it uh, shows a high that is called a BP hypertension what is called hypertension this is about the blood pressure in some conditions Situation to situation, it changes. In rest time, 120 to 80. In normal condition, when we are cam climbing the steps or uh, we are uh, doing exercises or uh, while running, the blood pressure may increases in normal persons also. In some people, in rest time also, it shows high that persons may have hypertension. What is that? Hypertension. This is about the blood pressure. Children, there is another important topic. Coagulation of blood. This is also very important uh, in point of your uh, coming examination. This question is asked in two papers of preparatory one and two also. Coagulation is uh, very important. In the story of uh, blood, another uh, important uh, part is a uh, coagulation. Because of this coagulation, animals uh, survive when they meet a uh, uh, severe injuries also. If an injury faced, the blood clot within 3 to 6 minutes. When there is an injury, when there is an injury, blood clots within six, 3 to 6 minutes. So, if we cut ourselves somewhere, when we are cutting uh, or vegetables or something sometimes uh, unexpectedly cuts our fingers 
after some time we can observe or we can see that red uh, portion appeared on that injury this is called the blood clot uh within the 3 to 6 minutes it uh, uh, clots up like that for this the blood clots up platelets are releases an enzyme called a thrombokinase blood containing a prothrombin when cuts or any injuries happen automatically the thrombokinase releases and this thrombokinase enzyme makes the prothrombin into thrombin then another particle is also there fibrinogen in the blood with the help of uh, releasing a thrombin fiber like structure formed uh, called a fibrin fibrin means net net like a structure that injury part covered with the fibrin and within the 3 to 6 minutes it clots so that means uh, that uh, fibrinogen friends uh, clot there this is about the blood coagulation again i am repeating that in the story of a blood uh, coagulation is also very important with this character coagulation character animals uh, survive uh, even they face a uh, a severe injuries they met with the severe injuries also they survived because of uh, this character coagulation if we face an injury the blood clots are within the 3 to 6 minutes only when the cut finger when the finger cuts the cut is filled with red solid material this solid material is called as a blood clot blood clot for this blood clot thrombokinase enzyme releases into blood prothrombin makes a, as a thrombin with the help of a thrombokinase and this thrombokinase forms a fibrin within the fibrinogen this fibrinogen prothrombin are in, present in blood prothrombin converted into thrombin releasing of a thrombokinase enzyme this thrombokinase enzyme makes the fibrinogen as a fibrin this fibrin clots the blood this fibrin so forms a, around the injury and blood cells cover the injury this is about the coagulation and we can see that in some people after hours are happening but uh, blood is not uh, clotted because of a uh, two conditions one is a uh, because of a deficiency of a uh, k vitamin and second one is genetic disorder which is called a uh, hemophilia because of these two also blood may not uh, coagulate and another uh, one is also there that is also blood uh, disorder uh, called a uh, thalassemia this is about the coagulation of a uh, blood children till to now we discussed about the 
circulation in this uh, we discussed about the heart internal structure of the heart uh, arteries and veins cardiac cycle not only that uh, in this chapter we have uh, how uh, materials are transported within the plants in this uh, root pressure is very important you have to study that and uh, transport uh, for materials uh, so also also very important transport of uh, manufactured foods also transport of uh, manufactured foods for this uh, we have uh, one uh, experiment also activity also that uh, epid uh, exciting uh, food materials from the plant it is very easy and root pressure is also very important so so we will see the questions from this lesson which are important already you prepared uh, uh, from the revised uh, syllabus because of uh, this pandemic situation last year this was published uh, first question what are the differences between uh, xylem and phloem already i told uh, it is very second question is uh, what is the use of uh, platelets already uh, we discussed that and third one is how does blood coagulation in class we discussed about the coagulation uh, how coagulation is uh, form formed also and next question what happen if platelets are uh, absent in blood now another question and it is the differences between what are the differences between veins and arteries next question what is the root pressure how it is useful in the plants already i told that and then next question uh, write the differences between a single circulation and double circulation this is also very important and to then next question how heart is uh, protected in our body or uh, what is the pericardial membrane heart is uh, located in a chest cavity it is protected uh, by the ribs and uh, heart uh, have uh, two membranes around the heart two membranes these two membranes are filled with a uh, pericardial fluid this membranes are called a uh, pericardial membrane this pericardial fluid and membranes uh, protects the heart from <coughs> jerks and uh, shocks and from injuries so read well all these questions these questions are very important within these questions only you will get uh, from your uh, coming examinations so read carefully everyone already you all have a papers uh, already you all have a papers uh, with you so don't forget to read don't neglect you, you all have a exams in uh, i think in july first week so prepare well so prepare well for your exams if any doubts we go through the textbook i hope you'll get full marks yeah. read well go through the preparatory 1 and preparatory 2 question papers don't leave a single question from those two question papers read well all the best may god bless you